Hey. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Long time no <laughs> see. Robert. Well, welcome to Northwestern. Oh, thank you. The bass, drum. Movement, the bass drum on the side, uh, yes. it rings forever. Okay, so so give, it, give it a cloth. Yeah, okay. It, it mute, muted, you know, all the time. Sure. You've been here for a, what a day now? What, yes. What's well, been? Uh, it feels like longer. Feels like it's been forever. <laughs> Is there? Uh, what's What's been a highlight for you so far? The experience. Well, as usual, it's rehearsal and hearing hearing how well the, the, the uh, you and the uh, students went through uh, city life this morning. There's no greater joy for me than to see you know, musicians who are just going with the notation and, well, they're very fortunate they have a direct connection to me through you. But, uh, and then just, you know, there it is, a piece, you know, and, and I've got nothing to do with it, you know, because, um, you know, that's, I think any composer, if you, you know, what is your greatest wish is that the music will go out there in the world and, and, and live, and it only lives when it's played. Right. On the surface of it, the most innovative thing of city, in city life is the use of, of samplers. And so Reich had a long interest in text, recorded speech, other um, you know, sort of found sounds. As a New Yorker, it's a really fascinating document about New York City. And, um, and I think it also says something about Reich's many and complex feelings about the city. You know, he was, he was recording these sounds in the early 90s around his apartment in Lower Manhattan. There are all these sounds, you know, old train sounds, um, sounds from like the docks that I, I don't hear in New York anymore. And so it's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of a time capsule piece. So the experience that these students are having here is one that I had as a student. Uh, when I was at Eastman as a grad student, Reich came in as a guest composer and I got to be part of a performance of music for 18 musicians. Um, you know, that he, that he was there for at the mixing board, and it was an unforgettable experience. And so to, to be giving the, the students here that, that same experience is pretty, pretty amazing. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Alan. <laughs>